the Mediterranean Sea a serene and historic expanse of water, but beneath its tranquil surface lies a hidden threat. Could a devastating tsunami strike without warning? Tsunamis in the Mediterranean are rare, but they do happen. Triggered by undersea earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and even landslides, these massive waves have the power to reshape coastlines and alter lives. So, what causes these powerful waves? When tectonic plates shift beneath the seafloor, the energy released can displace enormous amounts of water, creating a tsunami. Volcanic eruptions, like those in the past near Italy and Greece, can also trigger these deadly waves. Recently, the Mediterranean has witnessed several such events. In 2020, a powerful earthquake near Turkey and Greece generated a tsunami that struck coastal towns, leaving devastation in its wake. Scientists remain vigilant, constantly monitoring seismic activity to provide early warnings and safeguard communities. But the question remains, are we truly prepared for the next big one? The Mediterranean Sea, an area where the African and Eurasian tectonic plates meet, the seismic activity in this region can lead to significant tsunamis. There are many active volcanoes around the Mediterranean, such as Mount Etna in Italy and Santorini in Greece. Volcanic activity can cause underwater landslides, which can lead to the generation of tsunami waves. Historical records indicate that tsunamis have occurred in the Mediterranean in the past, for example, the tsunami of 365 AD that destroyed the city of Alexandria in Egypt, and the Santorini tsunami around 1600 BC, believed to have destroyed the Minoan civilization. Large underwater landslides can occur due to earthquakes or volcanic activity, and these landslides can lead to tsunamis. So, while the Mediterranean is not as renowned for tsunamis as the Pacific Ocean, there is still a possibility of tsunamis occurring in this region due to seismic and volcanic activity. The likelihood of a tsunami depends on natural factors and environmental conditions, it is always important to have plans and preparatory measures in place to deal with such disasters in vulnerable areas.